Okay, so I'm here with Shane Killick and Dave Morris after the one all draw against Vauxhall Motors. <coughs> How did you find the match, guys? Um, I'm very disappointing, uh, to be honest with you. I think the first half we did quite well. Um, we put a bit of pressure on them, um, try to play, try to put it in the right areas. Second half, I think we didn't really do any of that. Um, we really sat back second half um, for whatever reason. Couldn't get hold of the ball much as a team and, you know, find it quite hard to, you know, stand by our throat in the game, second half. Dave, what was your take on it? Um, mimicking the words of Shane, really. Um, second half, very disappointing. Don't think really like to say. Didn't really get a um, grip on the game. Couldn't really hold it up. Couldn't get up and support him. Um, ended up dropping too deep. Um, so, yeah, basically mimicking what Shane's been saying. Overall, first half, yeah, I'd say we're on top. Second half performance, not good enough. It was a great goal by Adam Bode. I mean, did you think at that stage that it could be a bit of a, an easy match or...? Um, no, not not an easy match, but I think we should have kicked on again uh, and gone for gone for the second and really pushed on because we did have some chances first half where we could have uh, extended that lead a little bit further instead of holding on towards the end of the second half. To be honest, okay. yeah, um, you know, as Dave said, one 0 is a very very you know, tricky scoreline at any level, um, and I think as a you know, home team, um, you know, we should have been kicking on after we scored that first goal. You know, to go and get two, three, you know, and then really, you know, take it to them. And I think after the first goal, we sort of stepped off a bit, really. And perhaps as a team, we thought it might just happen for you. But as you know, you've got to go make things happen in the games. And I don't think we did that after we scored the, the first goal. It probably shows a lot of the character of the team at the moment that a one-all draw has been treated as a defeat. <coughs> I mean, how was the dressing room after the match? Disappointed, very disappointed. Um, you know, we've we've got a great squad, um, some great great players, you know, some big talents. And we go into every game, no matter who we're playing or where we're playing, to go and get three points every time. And when we don't, we feel, you know, disappointed that like we've underachieved. And the same again tonight. No, no disrespect to Vauxhall Motors. We respect them like we respect every team that we play. But there's a difference between respecting teams, but believing in yourselves and being confident enough to go on and, you know, believe you can win. And which we do every game. And tonight we just weren't good enough. There seemed to be a lot of passion being showed on the pitch. I mean, there was one incident in the first half when Liam missed a chance and the look on his face when he's punching the boards I mean, is that the kind of atmosphere that is in the team now that real passion that drive yeah definitely uh, I think we've obviously set a standards from last year and now we want to push on so there is that nucleus in the team that want to really go on push on and um, strive for success and I think everybody who's come in the new lads this year are on that same kind of wavelength as well they all want to push on they all want to be as best as possible can now, we've obviously got North Ferriby at the weekend and they had a good result during the week. I mean, are they going to be a difficult team to bounce back against or are you confident that we can do so? Well, yeah, they're going to be a very good team. Um, don't get us wrong, they're sitting at the top of the, top of the table. The first two, uh, a great result against Park Avenue, who are a team that should be up there and thereabout. Um, but no, we've got to put this, put this behind us, uh, take some positives out from the first half, and regroup and then come back Saturday and just go and do what we do. Yeah, um, I don't really know too much about North Ferry, to be honest with you, um, but from what I've heard, they're a big, strong, powerful side. We can play as well, so it will be a tricky game, but you know, like we said, we go into every game believing that we can win. Um, we'll continue to do that on, on Saturday, sorry. Um, and you know, hopefully we'll be able to take the game to them and get a positive result. That's great, guys. Thanks very much.